antibiotic-resistant super germs are becoming a major public health problem. Experts say it's largely due to overprescribing of antibiotics, many to children. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez is here with more on these troubling new findings. Dr. Max? That's right, Christine. Sore throats, sinus and ear infections, runny noses, coughs and bronchitis. Kids get these infections by the handful, and often a pediatrician will prescribe an antibiotic for them. Trouble is, if it's a virus causing the infection, the antibiotic is useless. But some kids are still getting over-medicated. 11-month-old Dorinda Campbell has a fever and a cold. She has like a lot of congestion, a lot of cough, runny nose. It used to be that little Dorinda Campbell would often leave the pediatrician's office with a prescription for antibiotics, which would do nothing for her viral infection, but could cause a lot of other problems. You're going to get resistant germs is the biggie, but makes the next infection twice as hard to treat. You may also get rash, diarrhea, upset stomach. It's expensive. So Dr. Richard Rosenfeld and other experts have been issuing guidelines to try to cut down on the overprescribing of antibiotics. But according to a study published today in the journal Pediatrics, many doctors haven't been listening. We're prescribing about twice as much as we should given the rate of bacterial infections. In fact, the study found that though the rate of bacterial respiratory tract infections in kids is about 27 percent, more than twice that number got antibiotic prescriptions for their infections. It can be difficult to tell the difference between bacterial and viral infections, but Dr. Rosenfeld says there are clear guidelines for that too. Illness that goes on for more than 10 days, the severity of the symptoms, a persistent fever, and a physical exam all help. And parents should also be asking their doctor questions, not demanding medicine. Gee, are you sure that's a bacterial infection? And if they say yes, well, how sure are you? And if they're not really sure, you're always better off watching and waiting a bit. Dr. Rosenfeld says that even when it is a bacterial infection, our own immune systems will often kill off the germs. So even then, many bacterial infections, such as middle ear and sore throats, will get better on their own. Christine? Dr. Max, thank you. The